Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're talking about how to overcome emotional eating and I'm going to give you three really great tips. Hi, my name is Sue Ann Hickey. I'm a certified naturopath and creator of Body Typology, System for Lasting Weight Loss. So a lot of people use the word loss, myself included. Sometimes I forget we're always talking about weight loss. And so the thing you have to realize is the word loss has a lot of negative connotations about it, right? So think about things that you lose. You lose your health, you lose your money, you lose your security, lose your wife, lose your husband, lose your job, lose your baby. It's always, always about something really negative. And the mind is a very powerful thing. If you're talking about something negative and it's lost, then the body will say, well, wait, we don't want to lose the weight. This is not a good thing. Loss is not a good thing. <laughs> so always think about gaining health instead of losing weight or switch those words up. You can say you want to drop the pounds, reduce, you want to shed, you want to discard, but try and scratch out the word loss and find a better meaning and think always about gaining health. Gain is such a positive thing, right? Gaining status, gaining confidence, gaining positive things, gaining health. So that's a huge, huge way to focus and something to focus on to help ensure your success. Now the number two tip I want to focus on is also, it's always about the thoughts, right? It's, and it's always about the words we use. So you want to try and stop saying, I can't eat this, I can't eat that. I want to eat this, but I can't. You have to turn it into a choice. So I'm choosing not to eat this right now. I am choosing to eat that instead. When you make it about a choice, you become powerful. You are in charge. And yes, there will be restrictions, not 100% of the time, because we're never going for perfection, that will not work. You need some deviations occasionally, have them, enjoy them, savor them, do not feel guilty, choose to have them, and then back on track most of the time. There are restrictions we have, you know, you can't drive on the wrong side of the road. So know that there are always gonna be some restrictions in life and be okay with that. Make that a choice. Instead of saying, I've got to do this, say, I get to do this. Same with exercise. So I have a half brother who's paralyzed from the waist down. He can't exercise. I can. So every day it's like, wow, I get to go for a walk. I get to ride my bicycle. How amazing is that? So change, I got to, to, I get to. And then finally, for emotional eating, always important to work out the cause of why you gain the weight. And it's not usually just about, well, I ate too much junk food. You have to dig a little deeper. What is the underlying core reason why you started to put on the pounds? Often there might be two reasons. Number one is that you want to um, protect yourself, maybe something happened, a trauma, and it's putting weight on as a protection. Maybe you want no one to look at you, so it becomes a protection. And number two reason can be to be stronger. If you were bullied when you were young, uh, maybe for men or for women, if you were beat up on and you told yourself, when I'm bigger, no one is going to ever do that to me again. I'm going to get big and strong and then I can protect myself and make sure I'm never bullied again. So those are some of the reasons that might be there. Dig deep and find the thought that is keeping the weight there. When you change the thought, you can be able to change the action. But if you go about it the other way and try and change the action of overeating without working with the thoughts, it's not as good for long-term success. So I hope these three tips really help you out. And by all means, check out my website, bodytypology.com. You can find all kinds of information about eating right for your body type, the best way to lose weight. 
And if you want to know more or jump on a discovery call, the link will be either above or below. You are going to have way more success when you hire someone to work with you, to hold you accountable and help you get through the emotional triggers that you need for long-term success. So thanks for watching and have a great day.